Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And if you're new to this channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and join the family and like this video if you like fall content because this video is my first video this year of like my fall series. I'm so excited. This week I'm gonna be like cleaning and decorating a little bit for fall. Just like some little fall touches here and there. I don't really like to like decorate too, too much seasonally. I just like to change up a couple things. And then I have a really yummy fall recipe that I'm gonna be making today too so i'm super excited to just kind of get into the fall mood i thought i would show you guys my outfit because i threw on the first sweater of the season this one i got in the nordstrom anniversary sale it's pretty thin but it's not sweater weather here you guys it's like 93 degrees but we have the air conditioning so it's fine and it's really not too hot or anything sweater dresses are my favorite type of outfit in the fall time because you just throw on sweater dress jeans and you're good to go honestly just dressing in the fall is so much easier because like I can just wear jeans and sweaters every single day right now since it's so hot outside and it's the end of summer I just really have no idea what to wear so catch me looking like this in August. Omar just said, oh god, our fridge. And I told him, yeah, that. that's why I'm gonna clean it because it's so disgusting I don't think I've cleaned it in like months. So yeah Yeah, that's what we're doing today I'm gonna set you guys here and take everything out of my fridge wipe it all down And then I actually just got a grocery order in because I'm gonna be making chili and baked apples I just really want to get into like the fall spirit and that just sounds so good and cozy So let's clean out this fridge and then we'll get to cooking So much better. I'm sweating right now from all that. <laughs> but I like wiped my fridge down like squeaky clean and just threw away everything I didn't want, put everything back. I did collect a little bit of dishes, so that's what I just did. I just tried to like straighten up a little bit before I start cooking. This looks so much better. I'm not gonna open my freezer because that's a whole different story and that's a project for another day. I have a ton of stuff I need to ask Omar if it's okay for me to get rid of. I also wanted to put a little disclaimer that all the wine bottles are halal. They are 0% alcohol and have been like I don't know, basically they're halal. So <laughs> I knew I was gonna get questions about that, like you drink, but I, that was in another video. If you guys are interested, I will leave that link down below. I feel like this is gonna be the perfect start to fall. I mean, it's pretty bad that it's like a seasonal thing for me. <laughs> Mom life. I don't even have time to clean my fridge. Okay, let me show you guys the groceries that I have now So I'll do a little haul one thing that I have splurged on and just made the decision that I'm gonna spend the money on it And I have been for like the past probably two years now is getting my groceries delivered by Instacart I was talking to Omar the other day and yes, like all the fees add up, but it saves me hours of time literally throughout the year of just like hours that I would have to be like Controlling the grocery store, I can just put everything on my phone and just like order it and it shows up at my door and it's literally the best thing ever. I probably wouldn't have to do this if I didn't have Elena, but let's be honest. I think I started actually ordering my groceries when I was pregnant and it was before COVID even. It was just like for convenience. So I don't know, it's just so much better. Today I'm gonna be making a sweet potato chili. I really was just in the mood of, for just like a really like hearty, fall meal. I thought I could give you guys some like healthy fall inspo and I found a really good recipe on Pinterest that I'm excited to try out. I'm also going to be making kind of like a little healthy dessert. I'm doing baked fall cinnamon apples and I've made them before and they are to die for you guys. I could just imagine them with like 
vanilla ice cream and like some nuts on top or something that would be so delicious but it literally makes your house smell like an apple pie here's everything that i got so i'll kind of walk you guys through of course i got perrier this is like i don't know i either do perrier or i do pellegrino nowadays i actually got a drink fridge well i really didn't get a drink fridge but omar has had a little mini fridge in his man cave forever and he doesn't really use it so i asked him to bring it down and put it in the laundry room and i've been putting all of my drinks sparkling water his body armor in there coconut water like all my stuff so yeah I'm excited. I'll show you guys that little fridge in the laundry room. I went ahead and stocked up on pumpkin puree because last year I remember this stuff being like so hard to find. Everybody during the fall just like scoops this stuff up and I really want to make some uh, pumpkin bread soon. For the chili, so I, like I said, I'm going to do a sweet potato chili. So I just got sweet potatoes, corn, black beans, crushed tomatoes, chicken broth, cilantro, and then zucchini and squash and onion. And then I'm gonna add garlic, which I already have. And then I also already have avocado to put on top. And then these are our favorite, well, these are my favorite. I don't know about Omar, but they're the tortilla chips by EXO. Well, let's see. So chill, I guess is how you pronounce it, but they're really, really good. I feel like they taste really good, and I love that they're really thin and crispy and they're organic. These are what are they? Pink ladies. I really like pink lady apples. They're like crisp and tart, and I just love the taste of them. I got 10 of them. I hope that that's not too much. I'm planning on like saving some and having a bunch of leftovers though, so hopefully that will be really good. And hopefully I can make them soft enough for Elena because I feel like maybe I'll boil some for her so it'll be soft enough. And just add like some cinnamon and like mash it up for her and put it with yogurt. That would be really good. Um, and then speaking of that, I actually got her some prunes. I actually saw someone on Instagram do this. This really, like I, this is the first time I tried this yesterday and I stocked up on more because it literally worked in one day. So she's been a little bit backed up, poor baby. And prune juice like takes a while for some reason to work, like maybe three, four days. I kid you not, I, I gave this to her twice yesterday and it worked. So I, I mixed this with yogurt and she actually really liked it. So got some of those stocked up. And then this is parchment paper to make the baked apples, but that's everything I got. Thought I would bring you guys into the messiest room in my house to show you guys my beloved drink fridge. I'm so happy. I feel so bougie ever since we've gotten this, even though it's literally just a mini fridge with my drinks in it, but it's just so nice because I can just come over here, grab my Perrier or whatever, and it just saves so much room in our other fridge, and yeah highly recommend a mini fridge with all your favorite drinks it's so convenient and so nice all of omar's body armor coconut water perrier omar has his sprite over here for when his friends come over i have some water bottles i need to stock up on water bottles because i like to have bottles of water to give guests if they come this is the recipe that i found on pinterest does that not look amazing oh my goodness the only thing is this is a turkey chili i don't actually have any turkey or any other meat to use um i was actually thinking to use some deer meat which i know that sounds really weird omar went hunting like a, a while ago and brought me back like a ton of deer meat which i haven't really known what to do with this would honestly be perfect but i didn't defrost it so i think i'm just not going to use it because i still don't even really know if it'll taste good so yeah if you guys know what to do with deer meat let me know some recipes or what you guys like to use it for because i have a ton in my freezer <laughs> recipe calls for like two cloves of garlic and you use like a whole fistful of garlic <laughs> am i the only one who does that i swear like they'll put like one clove of garlic and i'm like you can't even taste that like i love garlic in my food so yummy okay as far as spices we have salt pepper cinnamon paprika cumin and chili powder i will leave the link to the recipe that i'm following down below in the description box just remember that i kind of follow recipes pretty loosely <laughs> um so i'll just kind of like you know follow it as a guide but i'm gonna throw it all in my instant pot
Hello you guys, it's the next day. Last night I finished my chili, it was so good. So we're gonna have leftovers today for lunch. I'm also gonna finish the apples because I didn't get to those last night because um, Elena was with her grandma, Omar's mom, and she came back and I was like, we're done for the day. So I'm also gonna get to cleaning today as well. I have a bunch of laundry, so I may go ahead and do that now, honestly. Today's a little bit of a weird day because we have a house meeting at like 1 p.m., like in the middle of the day. So I told Emily, like, we'll just start work, like, after our meeting. So, like, I'll work a little bit later today. But I thought I would get some cleaning done before she got here. So we'll get to starting on the laundry. Actually, before I start the laundry, I wanted to go ahead and, like, figure out how to organize Elena's toys a little bit better. Because right now we have this basket, which is really cute. It just doesn't match my living room decor, and it's not big enough. I also have this basket which I don't even think it's any bigger. So I think we'll just try to declutter some of her toys and just maybe just leave the ones out that she only plays with. Yesterday, I went to Target and World Market to get a bigger basket that looks exactly like this. They didn't have it at either store. So let me see what I can do to make this look a little bit better because right now we just, they're everywhere. <laughs> also, please excuse that we don't have a TV up there anymore. It broke and we're just waiting on the new one to come in. So yeah, let's organize. Baby girl. She's loving books right now. If I had a playroom for her, it would just be amazing. Maybe I'll turn her room into a playroom, honestly. That way I can like have a little bookshelf and what do you think, Omar? That's what I've been telling you. <laughs> but it was so cute in the nursery that we never used. <laughs> So I feel like it looks much more neat and tidy like this, especially now that the baskets kind of match. Basically, I just left mostly books in here because that's mainly what we usually grab out of the basket anyways in here. And then just one of her dolls. I swear all of the toys that she has were bought by either Omar's mom or my parents. Like, seriously, I never buy her any of this stuff, even though that's like always what she goes for. It's like all these colorful plastic toys, like this car here. She's obsessed with this thing. Oh my gosh. And I got rid of her little activity center that she hasn't used in months. So, yeah. I feel like this looks a little bit better. Ah, Alina. You want to help Mama with the laundry? Oh, you want to turn our Wi-Fi off? about to leave for our meeting, but I was gonna eat some of this chili that I made yesterday before we left. I'm just chopping some cilantro to put on top. I just tasted it yesterday. I didn't get to actually like fully enjoy it. Elena fell asleep, so I was able to get all my laundry done. And then hopefully I'll get everything else done once we come back from this meeting. I'm gonna try to make this look really aesthetic. I'm gonna try to take a picture of it. Here is the final result. I'm gonna leave this linked below. You guys have to try it, it's so good. I basically wiped down the whole kitchen. Everything is nice and clean and now I'm gonna mess it up again, which I don't know where the logic is in that, but I'm gonna make these baked apples. Emily actually gave me the idea to do this and I thought it would be an amazing idea because it's healthy. It basically, I looked up a recipe. So we're gonna peel and chop these up into like thin slices. Then we have cinnamon, ginger, and I'm gonna add maple syrup. It did call for like coconut sugar or like just cane sugar, but I have this leftover maple syrup in the fridge. I thought that would be really good. It also called for apple juice, which I think would be so good, but I didn't look at the recipe until today. And I don't have apple juice, so I think I'm just gonna add water and just hope for the best. We just got back from our meeting. I went ahead and just changed into comfy clothes so that I could cook and clean again. And my mother-in-law is watching Elena while we get some work done here. But our meeting went really, really well. Basically, we found out that 
we got basically everything within budget which is really good and we're supposed to be starting to break ground in about a month um which if you guys don't know i think i i think it's like two videos back now we we're gonna be building a house that was like our big life update and we're really really excited to like take you guys on that journey and i'm just so like excited to have like a bigger space to work and just to I don't know. I'm just like thinking of all the content we can create in the, in the new house. It'll also just be good for like having more space for like a growing family. But yeah, you guys left some really sweet comments on that video and oh, you guys are the best. I'm so excited to like share all the details with you. y'all on a couple of like upcoming videos to expect so this month we're hopefully just gonna continue on with like all the cozy fall vibes i just got a couple packages from target and pottery barn for fall decor so i'm just updating a couple things so that'll actually be in the next video i told you guys it was gonna be in this one but i feel like i've just filmed way too much it's just gonna be way too much for this video so that'll be in next week's video. My sisters and I actually booked a trip to Vermont, which we're so excited about. We're actually flying into Boston, so we'll be there for a couple of days as well. But we've never done a fall trip before, and we're just like dying to like actually experience fall. Cause I mean, we get like, you know, a little bit of a fall here in Texas, but we just don't have proper seasons. And I don't think I've ever experienced like a true fall so if any of you guys live there or live in boston i would love for you guys to send me recommendations and restaurants and just like things to do i want to go to like pumpkin patch or like apple picking or something it would just be so fun we may be filming that for the sister channel as far as like a vlog but um we're planning on doing like a bunch of other content there while we're there as well so that'll be next month oh another thing that we have filmed we're planning on putting together kind of like a I guess a house series for building our house and we've already filmed like a lot tour so we kind of take you guys along and show y'all around like the piece of land and all that stuff so that'll be really cool and then we also are going to be walking y'all through the plans we're just waiting on um, I guess us to like officially break ground to post that video <laughs> I guess but yeah we're really really excited I think you guys are going to really like it It smells so freaking good in here, you guys. It smells like a warm. It smells really what does it good. smell like? It's like cinnamon apples, like it just it so, so like cozy. Apples. I actually took it out of the oven just to like taste test it. it. Tastes so good. I'm just like, I put it back in to soften them a little bit more. Yeah, if it wasn't like a thousand degrees outside. Guys. It yeah, it's a thousand there. degrees. It would, it would fit the mood a little bit better. <laughs> it's but. literally so hot right now, but it's fall on YouTube. Yep. So. <laughs> Here is the final result with the apples. They smell incredible and I've already tasted them and I'm gonna try them again since I had them cooking for a little bit longer. Let me do a taste test. Oh my god. That is incredible. Wow. Let me turn this off. I took it out a little bit early, but wow. You guys have to make this. Like this is fall. Like wow. It's fall. This is fall, like the definition of fall. So, wow. I don't know what else to say. This would be so good with vanilla ice cream and like some walnuts on top or something. Oh my God, but it's healthy because there's no extra sugar or anything other than like pure maple syrup. You could maybe even do it without any sweetener as well because apples are sweet on their own, but and just like the smell alone, like I would do this just to make my house smell amazing too. You have to make it. Laundry is done, kitchen is clean. My house smells amazing from these apples, you guys. I don't even have to light a candle or anything because it smells that good in here. So I'm feeling pretty productive. I hope this was like some good cleaning inspo. I'll probably pick up the camera tomorrow to vlog a little bit more because we actually already got bikes, but we got Elena a little attachment to go on Omar's bike and I'm so excited to show you all those so I'll show you all that tomorrow hello you guys it is the next day I just finished up an like a really busy day at work I changed into something comfy we actually just had um, some of the chili and apples and it was so yummy and I wanted to show you guys the bikes that we got because we're gonna just go quickly just around the block just to like test them out after we went to LA and rode, bu rode bikes we also got Elena a little 
infant seat, which is so cute. So we put that on Omar's bike and I'll, let me just show you. There we go. Hi, baby. <laughs> so Omar thinks his bike isn't the best quality or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. He's just not like that obsessed with it. So uh, we didn't do any. We didn't do any research. Any research, but really the biggest problem is I feel like the chain is skipping. The chain's skipping. Well, anyways, this is just like a cheap bike for us to do for now and then if we like really get into bike riding then we'll get some Sienna better ones brand. so if you're looking into this make sure you do your research yeah and let me show you mine it's pink <laughs> <laughs> of course it's pink i know when i saw this i was like okay i'm getting that one it's so cute <laughs> what color did you guys expect to see <laughs> anyways we went for cute and not i don't know the best quality so we'll see yeah this, this will just be better for omar like with his knee and everything i think i told you guys he tore his acl so riding bikes is like our next option to his running, so. Lily! <laughs> They're doing a lot of construction on our road right now, so that's what that is. Oh my god, I'm so sweaty. We've been only gone for like 10 minutes. I'm sorry I couldn't like put the camera anywhere to like film us, but <laughs> oh, this one lady waved at me and I tried to wave and I almost fell off my bike. <laughs> Otherwise it was so fun and Elena had so much fun. She was laughing so much yeah. well i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog but i hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next one we're gonna be decorating for fall even though it's clearly not fall yet no. <laughs> bye